Multilingual websites are a great way to localize your business for an existing audience and expand your presence to new territories. At Weblium, there are two available ways of creating multilingual websites. First is creating separate websites for different languages. So let's imagine that website A is designed for the English-speaking audience and website B is meant for the Russian speakers. We'll connect unique domains to these sites that indicate the language version, for example, ntaxi.weblium.site and rutaxi.weblium.site. So, let's see how we can connect English and Russian site versions so your site visitors could switch between them. The first thing to do is to add a language menu in the header. For that, click on the plus icon and select the language menu element. In the settings, you can change the way the switcher looks and set the number of languages you need. Then choose the icons to match your languages. And finally, add links to the other website versions. Done. Open the live site to see how the language switcher works. Another option is having different language versions within the same site. This way, each website page will have a dedicated version depending on the language. This method mostly works for landing pages or websites with up to three pages, as it requires attention to interlink the pages in the menu and the buttons. Let's see how it works. Here's a one-page site that we'd like to make multilingual. First, let's make a copy of this page. It's easy to do so in the Pages menu, click on the three dots, then press Duplicate. To better differentiate the pages, change their names accordingly. Now localize the page content. You'll probably notice that if you change the links on the header, they'll change across all the site pages. But since this would be a multilingual website, the headers have to be translated too. For this to work, the header should be non-global. You can either hide an existing header or delete it completely. Then, add a new header and make sure that you place it on this page only. Repeat this process for all the site pages. Now you can rename the links in the header to match the chosen languages. Finally, you add a language switcher in the header the same way we showed in the beginning. Add a new element, set the languages, and add the links to the relevant pages. Repeat this on all site pages. Go to the published site to make sure it works as expected.